Wilson, please. Thank you, Chair, um, and uh, thank you for yeah, your comments on that question. And um, I, I think all of us here share uh, our strong support for the, the national team and their performance in the Euros. Um, it's a fantastic experience for the whole country to, to get behind. Um, but uh, there are questions and certain perceptions um, of, of double standards I think need to be discussed. And um, the, 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 I used a minicab to get to the pub that I watched uh, the, the, uh, the final in, um, and it was proudly displaying a Palestinian flag. Now, I wasn't mad keen on that, uh, but I didn't have a complaint because I believe in freedom of expression. I think supporting uh, Palestine is not, uh, you know, not, not a view that I, I share, but it is a view that has a, a right to be expressed. And I think sharing, uh, or sharing support for our national team uh, is also one that, that should absolutely be able to, to be expressed. Um, but we see on an almost weekly basis um, in our city, um, you know, the, the Met you know, almost sort of bends over backwards to facilitate large-scale gatherings, um, and on quite a lot of occasions these very much push the boundaries between peaceful protest and something much more similar. And yet when we came to the football final yesterday, which, oh, yesterday, Sunday, um, which, although notwithstanding the final result, it could have been a fantastic opportunity for a huge national celebration, and yet no outdoor screens, no congregation allowed, you know, dispersal order in place. Um, so it, notwithstanding that final result, and, and we didn't get the result we wanted, it felt that we were not welcome in our cities. So w what is the point of Sir Keir Starmer dumping Emily Thornberry from Labour's front bench if, when it comes to here in London, we channel her spirit through, uh, through, through these institutions instead? Chair, more than happy to answer the question, uh, but I don't want a president to be set where the question's on a topic about flags and uh, black cabs, uh, and I'm asked to answer the question on other issues. So I'll ask the, I'll, I'm more than happy to answer the question, but what I don't want is an impression to be given. Uh, that it's you know game for any other, any question at all when it comes uh, to it, it isn't. There was a reference in the member's question to England <laughs> flags and the use of flags and well. Okay, fine. I'll ask you. You've all tried it. Don't don't have a go now. Just because somebody well, else does. Can I say firstly, I, I, I'm really pleased that the reform member is quoting the Human Rights Act, freedom of expression, <laughs> and uh, the, the European Convention. Of human rights, the European Convention of Human Rights, that does talk about freedom of expression, and I fully support the European Convention of Human Rights, and I'm hoping he will confirm. So does he support the European Convention of uh, Human Rights, Article 10, uh, I think, of the ECHR, uh, uh, and I agree, people should be free to fly the flag. Uh, I went to the O2 on uh, Sunday evening. Uh, we were giving out free St George's flags to people who came to. The O2, and we organised a free screening of the England game at the O2 to allow people a chance to watch the game uh, together. Uh, all the other places we usually use for screenings were booked up for other events. And you'll appreciate, as somebody who claims sport in the England team, it's real risky booking a venue for a final with England, the men's team anyway, because we never get to the final when the tournament's held uh, overseas. The first time ever. And I'm somebody who I can share now, in 2018, did book a venue for the final. Uh, and we got beaten by Croatia. And I watched that game at Hyde Park. Uh, and in 2021, uh, it was COVID. And so we couldn't organize a screening uh, uh, then. So I can uh, assure him, in relation to watching the England team, I support them. And I support this manager, by the way, who stepped down, even when he encourages players to take the knee. Uh, that's the support I have for the English football uh, team. Can you say the same? I should remind you, this is, uh, you, you don't have to answer any questions. Okay, questions to the mayor, not questions to me. Anthony? 